My cat Benchley loves watching TV. Seriously, we spot him watching along with us all the time. Sometimes the content for humans can get a little too loud and startling for him, but he even has a favorite YouTube channel full of endless nature scenes with birds and squirrels. Who would have thought we'd have so much content for cats available? The future is now. Well, in 20 years, they could become steady viewers. Programming for cats. Walk with me, Frank. I'm Becky, and today we're building a mini television for cats. It's really a mini computer, since I'm using a Raspberry Pi, to play YouTube on a little HDMI screen. Let's get started. For this project, I'm using a display gifted to me by Elecro. It's a 5-inch LCD with capacitive touch and comes with an HDMI cable for video and audio and a USB cable for power and touchscreen input. It works with my Raspberry Pi out of the box. So I just plugged in both cables as well as a USB speaker, keyboard, and mouse. Then I created a first draft of the 3D printed enclosure, which has to fit the screen and speaker next to each other. To use the speaker as the audio output, I right clicked on the audio setting in the upper right and selected my USB device from the list. If it's not there, you may have to do a few command line steps to install support for USB audio. I installed Pulse Audio, restarted my Pi, and it worked straight away. Check out the link in the description for the full write-up for this project, including the parts list, files, and step-by-step -step instructions. You can get everything you need for this project at DigiKey, the sponsor of this video. They carry an almost endless variety of maker supplies, like electronics components, cables, power supplies, filament for the 3D printer, and much more. Plus, they ship super fast, and their packaging makes a great cat bed. Big thanks to DigiKey for supporting my channel. Don't miss the latest episodes of my show on their channel, where I teach you some intermediate Arduino techniques like sleep, interrupts, and writing programs that don't use delay. And you want to know something cool? We've started dubbing those videos in Chinese. You can use YouTube's multi-language audio track feature to listen along. As of this recording, we've got the first six episodes dubbed, with more coming soon. 电烙铁和汉西, 剥线钱, 剪线钱. To develop the enclosure a bit further, I played around with speaker grill patterns and settled on this segmented pattern with circles coming partway through. I think it's giving vintage vibes and the marble effect PLA is super classy. I test fit the components inside. I used an HDMI cable that has smaller connectors than usual, so it didn't add bulk to the size of the enclosure. Once I was confident my basic shape would hold and fit all my components, I started playing around with the exterior shape, and also wanted to add some ventilation holes because the Raspberry Pi runs pretty hot. I used the honeycomb shape generator in Tinkercad to make grids of holes that are too small for my cat to reach through. I printed this final version of the enclosure in sparkly black PLA on my smooth build plate so the front of the TV would be super flat. Then I test fit the components once again, holding them in place with tape so I could test the whole thing with Benchley to see if any changes were needed before investing in permanent attachment. I'm just loading the Birder King YouTube channel in the Pi's web browser and setting it to full screen. Benchley was super interested and even went around back to see if he could find any birds and squirrels inside the TV. I did discover that the touch screen was a bit of a problem as the cats would paw the screen and pause the video. So I replaced the screen's USB cable with a charge only cable, disabling the data connection for the touch screen. Then I installed the screen more permanently with some screws and the speaker and Pi with hot glue. You can set up your hot glue really fast if you hit it with a little canned air. 
So now it's time to bring the finished TV to the living room and see what Benchley and his brother Hamlet think about the final result. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I hope you'll subscribe with the bell to be notified of my future uploads. Subscribe to my email newsletter and find me on your favorite social media platforms. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This video was made with support from my sponsors and generous donations from viewers like you through Patreon and YouTube memberships.